years and ago. And for those who don't know, right. that he he's what? Would you say best friends with Kim? Is that Yeah, like- I'm very good friends with everyone. I mean, Chris, they're like family. You know, I've been yeah. there from the beginning. So we I've been on TV since second season. Uh, I met Kim before the show even aired by accident at a birthday party and we sat and then I had my own show. Well, tell that story. I think it's interesting for the people. I mean, everyone knows the Kardashians. Most people know you. Do you know the story of how they met Brianna and like Josh? I I have no, I would love to hear it. Well, it's one of the best stories. And it's one of those, it's one of those stories that, um, God made this happen. And you know, when you're like, Oh, things are supposed to happen in life. That was the story. So back in the young Hollywood days when it was like young Hollywood and it was like Lindsay and Paris and Nicole. So I used to be best friends with Nicole and Paris. Paris Nicole Richie. To, Nicole Richie, sorry. It's like Paris and Nicole is like yeah, a, right. it's well, a thing. It, I just, that, but it isn't maybe. I know, it's, you're right. People. It's not. It's not. So Paris, Paris, Hill, there's one Paris, yeah. Nicole Richie, and this was like a different young Hollywood. And I've been through a lot of fun young Hollywoods. That was the best one. That was the craziest, the most amazing. That was like no, no Instagram paparazzi pandemonium like right. hundred of them on robertson like you'd go shopping there was literally like if you go into a store you turn around there's a wall of 50 photographers lined up on top of each other's heads but like Jeez. it was like uh, the craziest like car accidents like pandemonium you like, told me this story i've never heard this part of it yeah, let's get to yes. like how they fucking met we don't want a nine hour podcast <laughs> Bro, don't, don't, <laughs> you, just, don't you guys I mean, don't you guys edit about, yeah we edit but i mean i gotta <laughs> but it's like out pretty light edit. These guys are wrong. Edit. bro yeah. this story yeah. has almost created the the royal family You've, of america you told me are you story. serious I've just never heard this bro, part it's not like a regular story i do have a flight to catch to go to new york so oh we're gonna get to the we're tall we're turning on oh we're turning on already we're on yeah, oh no! Going. I didn't know we were going. I didn't know we were going. <laughs> Tell in, the story. Not on. So it's a little bit of like a three-minute story. Can you handle it well, with your fucking ADD? Like, slow down. Ahead. I didn't go, even start yet. Story. I didn't know we were turning on this early in the I'm, thing. I'm at all. Wow! <laughs> fuck! I took. Thank God I took the jewelry off, guys. Lots of heavy shit here going on because I. Jeez. Just, he's flexing anyway. in your he's face. He's flexing yeah, yeah. very hard. We, yes. I'm and I am. And I am. How and I am disappointed you didn't wear your leather jacket today. Because it's almost it's insulting. Dave in a leather jacket? I couldn't. I wear a leather that. jacket wow, every Miami, night of the every week. Every time I go out, it's my really? look. I've gone Clooney. I've said that. I wow, wear the same wow. thing okay. every time. And every time I see him, he's like, "Why are you wearing the leather jacket?" Because it plays in the streets. How every do you, night? How does it though? <laughs> how? Yes, Brianna. It, it plays. Does. The leather jacket every, plays. <laughs> how? How? Oh my gosh, Dave! I got to tell you something. You think that works at the night? My one of my like best friends from home. He texted me the other day and said. Josh, I got laid the other night solely because I was wearing a BFF hoodie. No shit. Wow. Yep. Good yep. for him. Yeah. Girl I came if up the girl to him. Was pretty. I, I mean, I, I don't know. Girl came up to him at a bar, a college bar, and then uh, I was like, "Yo, I like I like your hoodie. Are you are you a fan of Dave and Josh?" And he was like, "Yeah, I actually know Josh." And then uh, she gave him her number, and he went to her her place at like good two a.m. Good for him. That's yeah. that's. Hey, we're, 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 we're really doing lines. good things. Yeah, we are. Guys, we're, I don't we're have touching all hearts. Tell you well, you tell <laughs> your story. How did you meet Kim? Right, yeah, back to the story. Back God, to the story. All right, I'm going to make it so quick. So I was friends with Hillary Duff, who was and Haley Duff, who were huge stars at the time. Do you know who that is, Josh? I uh, yeah, I know the names. Yeah, okay. yeah. So we walk into this party. It was a birthday party for this girl that Kim and I. Everybody knew. We walk in. It's in Casa Vega, LA, very Hollywood, and we walk in. It's a U-shaped table, and there's this kid. You know, Aaron Carter. Yep. Okay. Right. So, he wants to fight rough and rowdy. Oh, really? Yeah. So Hillary used to date him, and Lindsay used to date him. So they had this teen war going on. So I walk into this party. It's a U-shaped table. And I walk in, and the first person sitting is Lindsay Lohan. And Lindsay's like, Jebin, what's up, what's up? And I'm like, fuck, I just dragged uh, Hillary or Haley. I don't remember who it was to this party. They hate each other, and this is like Hollywood. So I'm like, fuck, they're going to... They're going to dump me after this. It's like I bamboozled her to come to this party. <laughs> so the girl, Brittany Gastineau's birthday was, I said to her, I go, Brittany, I cannot sit next to Lindsay. I go, it's going to be a war. So she goes, take my seat. It's her birthday. Her seat is in the middle. And then I sit down, and the person next to me is Kim. I'm like, what's up? This is pre-fame? Not pre-fame, pre-superstar. But okay. fame enough that everybody knows her. The, Thou- the, yes, the, the thousand, yeah, 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 okay, the, like, please, yeah, 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 Kim Kardashian with the Taylor Swift, like no, I'm not. Don't know. I'm not gonna go. No, I was just gonna ask. Do they know? Sick. Do they have ten thousand fucking messages? Do they know like we're friends? Because it's like I've trashed. I've been like hard on her. 
Oh, on Kim? Yes. Okay, very. well. But is she so out of the universe? She, she doesn't, doesn't give know. a fuck. Or yeah, does she I know feel like she's know. just like, she doesn't know. Uh, she doesn't know. Too little you. problems. She's too big, maybe. yeah. She's like, she, that's she, what I'm asking. Because actually, LeBron James Jr. was on Aiden's podcast being like, we don't even know who Dave Portnoy is. And I trash LeBron all the time, too. So you don't know when people get so big whether they're right. just in their own This is not a you, – you're not part of that universe. No offense to you. A lot well, of I'm, people I'm, are not. She's not like sitting – I mean, I'm connected to you. She, right, but she doesn't know that. So we have – this is our own universe. And okay. hopefully she So you all have like hear. a little mini microverse going on between Yeah, the yeah it's a mini microverse. That's hopefully sweet. she, she doesn't beautiful. hear this. Like that. Do you, do you think – here's a viral. You're probably not going to answer this, but I no. firmly <laughs> believe this. Without the sex tape, the Kardashians don't exist. You can't know that. <laughs> well, I know I can't know you that. You can't know that because. But I think well, that. I mean, but the show has been. If, if that was the case, I mean, maybe that was a platform. That, well, that launched. Started. No, there's no doubt. It launched, but listen, I, I, Kim I, was already like the hottest girl I've ever seen in in Hollywood. Really, like the hottest girl ever back then. When I used to see her, I'd be like, "This is not an this." Girl. You could go into a room with like ten supermodels, and Kim walks in, and she's literally the prettiest girl in the room. And I've never I, seen her in person. You'll flip. It's that overwhelming. And and I say that to her sometimes. I look at her. I'm like, who's two? Huh? I don't know. I don't have a two. 